Well, how's it going, everybody? Well, I'm out here with the legend. Got the legend today. And I've been to this spot that I'm metal detecting. I've been here a bunch of times, but I've never been here with a deep target. So I'm going to set this machine up with some deep target number two. And uh, I have no idea if that's even anything worth anything or not. But we're going to give it a shot. And uh, I've been out here. I don't know if I'm going to find anything good. Um, I haven't dug every shallow target out of here. Um, but I have dug a lot of the high tones. But it don't matter. We're going to see what we can find. It's a little dry. So my digging may be hindered a little bit. But we'll give it a better shot. I got my headphones in or my ear, my earbuds. Um, it's it's going to be warm today. Upper uh, mid 80s and uh, humidity is starting to pick up a little bit. It's supposed to rain. So uh, get out here with the legend see what we can find. And I'll bring you in and find something good. But I got a 44 right here. It was showing 44, 43, 51. Just a jit, jit, jit. But it was giving me a depth of about six inches. And then it was giving me a, a, a reading there. But it's in the plug. This is the area where I found that Barber dime a couple years ago with the simplex. And it was about six inches down too. Okay, it is coin. All right, hang on. We got ourselves a coin here. It's, are you serious? It's a modern dime. <laughs> That's funny. It ended up being about four inches. Modern dime. 25 right here. About four inches down. Something I haven't found here in this yard on this property is a buffalo nickel or a V nickel. Be a coin. Don't be junk. Be a coin. It is a coin. Oh, be a buffalo. Be a buffalo. Be a V nickel. Come on. And it's not. Ah, oh, it's not silver. Man. I was hoping for a mint mark right there. But it's not. It's not a it's just a modern. Yeah, I can see the Yeah, I can see the Liberty. That thing was down there. Two, two and a half inches, maybe three. So I just had a 42, 41. And this is down there about five inches, six inches. I just flipped the plug and boom, there it laid. It was laying there like yeah, about five inches. Some sort of a knob off of something. So when I'm out metal detecting sometimes, just didn't get enough sleep that night, right? Before you go, you get excited for all the metal detecting that you're gonna to get to do, a new property, all the old stuff you're gonna find. And so you don't get enough sleep. So the next morning, you roll out, you get your metal detecting gear, load it up, drive there, and then you get to where you're going, and you start metal detecting, and guess what? You get tired sometimes, right? Well, there's a pick-me-up for that. This thing right here is called the out-in espresso coffee maker this thing right here i appreciate the company that sent it out this thing right here will produce a cup of coffee for you in a little bitty shot right i think it produces a cup of coffee in like three minutes so i'll show you how it works a couple cool things about this is it's, it's very compact right it actually has a place where you can charge this thing up and it comes with a, a usb-c cord it comes with a, a little cup here. This thing right here is an insulated cup. This right here takes the little small, I'm not gonna call them K cups, but I think they're called something else, something similar to a K cup. And here's your other option. And this is what we're gonna use here in just a minute. I'll show you how to use this. With cold water, I think it does like four or five cups of coffee. So, or, you know, the small ones. So that's like four or five cups of coffee. So I mean, if you if you really, really need a, need a pick me up, you can make you two or three of these babies and drink the whole thing or you might have friends. You might have somebody you metal detecting with. You want to be able to offer them a cup of coffee as well. It has the top right here. This is what you put your water in. And uh, it has takes up to 70 milliliters. Inside there it says 70 milliliters. All you need is some good coffee grounds, right? There's some coffee in there, as you can see. But you just take this stuff right here and just put it directly in there. So what you do is you use the cup to pour it in, of course. Then you use the bottom of the cup to kind of jam it down in there good till it you know it's a good solid fit and you can see it in there right and then here's your other little thing right here you just collapse it back down seals it off really good you take your little actual brewing machine here and you stick that on there and then you get your other cap 
screw it on. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's on there good, it's not loose. And then boom, you're ready to go. You can use boiling water and pour boiling water in here. And it says that you can do 200 cups on one battery. Even 100 cups, that's a lot. That's a lot of coffee to drink. But even if it did 20, I mean, you think about it, that's a lot too. Or you can do like four or five when it heats, uses the heating elements inside if you're using cold water. Let's go almost to 70. You're gonna press this button for two seconds and you're gonna hear a beep. When you do, these lights will start lighting up. If you can see the lights there, lights blinking, it's letting you know, okay, we are heating them elements up. It's just gonna do its thing for just a minute. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna think about all those relics we're gonna find when we get done drinking this coffee. When I get me some energy, I'm gonna go digging some more and I'm gonna find me a relic. That's what you're sitting here waiting on. So that's what you do, you just sit here and daydream while you wait for your coffee. Like I said, about two minutes, three minutes, she starts boiling. The last light's blinking, see it right there? So this is when you wanna get your cup ready. Oh, here beep. Here we go, we in business. Look at that, y'all. There we go, she's turned off. It's hot, but I'm gonna indulge in a cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that tasted like the coffee we drank in Jamaica when they brewed that stuff. Man, that's good. But this is espresso, so you're getting that whole cup in just a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to the video, back to the digging. But this right here is the out-in espresso maker. If you're interested in one of these things, I got all the stuff down in the description. Again, this company sent me this, want me to try it out, and they just didn't know how much me and my wife like coffee, so this thing's gonna get some use. But if you're interested in this thing, all the stuff's down in the description, and yeah, it makes it makes good, a good cup of espresso for you. Solid, showing all non-ferrous. Trying to even show a 47. Show has got some depth to it, so let's see what we got here. Oh, it's in there. Things like it's starting to rain a little bit. It's in here still. Oh, it's in there still. Yeah, it is. That's a good thing. Could be something good. I actually found a clad half dollar. I think it was like a 1971 over here um, last year. Seven inches down, man. I'll bring it back in, guys. Not always greatness that you find, but that was over a foot down when in mason jar lids. So if there's anything else out here that deep, I may not be digging today. That took me about 10 minutes. I'm wore a slap out. I haven't found one of these in a while. This is one of those bicentennial quarters. Sure is. It says 1776 to 1976. That's the bicentennial, 200 years, right? We're getting close to 250 years. What is it? Year after next? 80, 90, 2000, 2000. Yep. Yeah, we're almost 250 years. But anyway, there we go. All right, out of 46, two or four. Four inches in the ground, maybe. Might be already out. Hope it's coin. It is coin, I see it. Ah, oh, it's just a modern. Uh, yep, I see the memorial back. But it is a copper one, I'll take it. Okay, I got a, uh, something. It's in the plug now. Uh, it was uh, probably five inches, six inches down. Oh, it'd be awesome to find some silver. Let's see what it is. Look, maybe what just fell out. All right, it's that. That's lead. Oh, I got me a cool find. It's a pocket knife up here. It's got some H to it. Well, it's still got a the blade still that color. That's all right. Huh? Let me get my little brush here. Let's get some of this dirt off of it. That's all right, y'all. 
It ain't been in the ground too terribly long because that blade has not, even if it's stainless steel, stainless steel after some time is going to rot on you. Yeah. Little pocket knife. I like it. Look at that, it still opens. I thought I was going to be able to get it open. Look at that. It was down there about uh, three inches. Came up a, uh, I guess because of the copper, had a, had a broken signal. It was going up to the 40s, down in the 30s. I guess because it had this stainless steel here and then it had the copper on it. So that's pretty cool. That's all right. A little pocket knife. All right, everybody. Short hunt today. Just, uh, you know, trying to work that, that new feature out on that, that legend, that new setting. So here I've got this uh, bicentennial quarter here. I think those are pretty cool. I've always enjoyed bicentennials. But yeah, they're pretty cool. And I got just a nickel and dime and a penny. And then two other pennies over there. And then I think the best find today was probably this knife. I got the knife there. Pretty cool detail on it. But yeah, that blade opens up. And I believe that right there is a razor. I'll show you. I think it come off a razor. It says something in the middle. Let me turn it over. Let's see here. Trying to work here. Yeah, I got this new camera, so it uh, it zooms, but I'm still learning how to use it. I'm trying to zoom in. I'm zooming out. It's got some sort of word on it there. I'm trying. It's got something written on it, though. Anyway, and then I found this little piece here. That was uh sounded really good. It sounded sounded up near uh I think it was like a close close to 45 to 50. That's why I dug it. I think it's copper. And then here's a piece here. It was in the low 40s, and then this right here. And that was pretty deep. Y'all remember seeing that? But that's all I found. No big deal. Just uh, learning that new. Uh, deep target setting on the legend. Yep, there we go. And that's my main attraction right there. All right, so that hunt's over. Um, I was hoping to last, make it last a lot longer. Uh, for one thing, it ain't rained. It's been really dry the last couple weeks, so the ground is super, super hard. And you know, I'm trying to do deep target stuff. I'm trying to find deep targets and get those faint signals. But if I can't dig down to it, then what's the purpose of them detecting, right? So I found a few things, and uh, that's what we did. We're hoping to get with Digging Dixie here in a couple weeks and go digging with her. So that'd be fun. Hadn't done that in probably a year. We hadn't dug her in a year. <laughs> and uh, so, but anyway, other than that, um, when we get done with this crazy work schedule we got going on in May this year, when that's over, we'll be back digging again and probably in the water a lot of it hey i hope you enjoyed the video again i didn't get to get down to those deep targets like i wanted to and using that deep deep target feature uh or the beast mode feature that i wanted to do but that's okay we'll wait till a good rain and then we'll go out and spend three four hours five hours digging but anyway hey i hope you enjoyed what video i had out there and i uh, hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you